Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You use the Slide Master in PowerPoint to change the default appearance of slides in your presentation. When you add presentation slides, they're actually formatted according to the Slide Master's specifications. What we are going to look at now is how we can change those specifications. Slide Masters can contain any type of an object that a normal slide would text boxes, graphics, clip art, or anything else you can think of. You can access the Slide Master by selecting View from the menu bar, rolling down to Master, and choosing Slide Master from the menu. Here you can select the various objects in the slide and format them or change them as needed. So you can apply changes that you want to the Slide Master at any time before, during, or after you've entered information into the actual slides. Any changes you make to the Slide Master appear on all subsequent slides in your presentation except title slides. The title slides appearance is dictated by the content of the Title Master. Using the Slide Master will make sure you have a consistent look in your presentation. Although you do not have to use the formatting provided by the Slide Master, it is recommended for a consistent look, but as we've seen, we can modify any individual slide regardless of the type of master that it originally derived itself from. So the Slide Master is kind of like a template. It has no actual text that it uses. It simply contains placeholders that you can use to later insert your own text and graphics into it. There are five different areas of the Slide Master you can modify to suit your needs. There's the title area, the object area, the date area, the footer area, and the page number area. In the title area, you can change the title text attribute and the title text placeholders property. You can also insert graphics and clip art into this area, and this is the area at the top of the slide. So if we had a logo, for example, we wanted to show on every slide, we could go to the master and go to insert picture from file and choose the logo file that we wanted to insert. You could also make changes to the object area, changing the font, the bulleting, the numbering, or the footer, the date time, or the page numbering. Now when you're done, after you've made your changes, you can just click the Close Master button on the Master Toolbar. If it's not available, you can right-click on any open toolbar and click Master to view it. And note you just need to click the close button there. Now notice our logo appears on every slide in our presentation except for the title because that uses a different master. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.